Hello guys, welcome to another tech video of Sigma Tech Tricks. On today's video, we are going to talk about blue screen of death or recovery mode error or blue screen error. But before that, I would like to thank those people who have supported our channel and help us grow 2000 subscriber. So whoever has subscribed and those who have referred others to subscribe it, they can always get very good discount, a huge discount I can say to a, from our shop, whether it's a repair, sales or anything. They can always tell others to subscribe our channel and those who have helped us gain 50 to 25 subscribe, subscriber at a time, they can always come to me and tell, tell to me, I am very happy to help them and give the discount to them. So now coming back to the point, now today we have received a laptop where the issue was screen was faulty. But it was not confirmed by the customer whether the screen was faulty or not since he was not able to see the shutdown button on the screen. Hence he was keep on pressing the power button and windows crashed. But crashing windows can be due to anything. There are multiple reasons windows may crash due to uh, like due to uh, RAM issue, uh, due to hard disk failure or there could be anything else. Okay, so in this case we are confirmed that customer pressing the power button since he was not able to see the screen so windows has crashed. Okay, so now we have placed a screen for the testing purpose and we can see the, uh, the screen is coming to the recovery mode. So from here I am going to show you how you can bring your windows back to the normal state without reinstalling the window from yourself or from anywhere. Okay, so let's get it started and check it out how we can do it. So guys here is the laptop and now we will switch it on the laptop. Okay you can see now the laptop has been turned on. Now it is trying to go to the windows. So let's wait and see whether it is going to the windows or not. So as I told you it is not coming to the windows. So here we have 5 options. The first option is press continue. If you click this option, the windows will restart and if it getting solved, the windows screen will come. Okay, but most of the time the windows in the screen will not come because we know there is a problem. So leave this first option. The second option is use a device. If you have a CD or a pen drive which has a ISO file written on the CD or a pen drive, then you can use it to install a new window. This also we don't require. Use another operating system, the third option. This also we don't require. As if we want to install the windows, we can directly connect our pen drive and we can install it. Okay. Now coming to the fourth option. The fifth option is obviously turning off the PC. So we don't need this as well. Now we'll go to the troubleshoot, the fourth option. If you click the fourth option, you will get two option more. That is troubleshoot. How to troubleshoot? If you click the fourth option, we will get these two options. The first option is reset this PC. Okay. This option will let you choose to keep your personal files which is there, there which is there stored in the desktop. Or you can choose advanced option. So I will show you, I know both the options how it works. But for you guys, I will show you what are the things available in both the option and which option is better for you to choose. Okay. So we will go to the second option. Here we have six options. Okay. If the problem is minor, you can select first option that is startup repair. If you click this option, if there is a minor issue with the windows, it will rectify and then the windows screen will come up again. Okay. If this doesn't work, then you can try out if you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 and recently if you have if your system has been updated with the software's auto updates, you can say then it will uninstall that and if the problem is getting caused by those un, uh, installation this will uninstall the software's unwanted software due to that the, the problem is uh, the problem is occurred okay and then it will restart and it will go to the windows okay now if that the option doesn't work then you can apply at least this option system restore if suppose your system is already having a system restore if you have made any restore point then you can apply this system Okay, for this if, if you don't know, in the future I will make the video on this how to create a system restore. Okay, but if this option doesn't work, then you have to go back 
to the another option which I showed you earlier. These two options, you cannot do it, so you leave these options. Okay, so now we will go back and we will choose the first option. Reset this PC. Remember, this is the main option which you have to try out. Okay, this option will let you choose files which you want to keep or you can reinstall the windows cleanly, deleting everything. So let's click it. Okay, here you can see there are two options. One which I said earlier, you can keep your personal files and folders and then it will reset the PC. The second one is, it's a clean new installation. If you click this one, it will delete everything and it will reset by its own fresh windows. Okay, so since the customer is having a lot of files inside his laptop, we will try this option. Now again it will ask whether you are going to copy it from the cloud or the local reinstall. Since this has a recovery option Windows 10 so we will choose local reinstallation. Okay, we will click the second option. And now based on complexity of the problem this PC is going to take the time. For some time it will check all the things and then, then it will start. Now it has come to the main screen where it says reset this PC. Are you ready to reset this device? This can't be undone. Make sure your device is plugged in. This may take a while. Obviously it is going to take one hour, two hour, maybe three hours depending upon the complexity of the laptop. So let's press reset and wait. Okay, now the resetting has been started. So let's wait and watch how much time it takes. Okay guys, now this computer has been restarted, the laptop has been restarted and let's see. So after that this screen has came, so let's wait and see what happens. So Windows has restarted again. And now it is loading. So as you can see guys we have restored the windows and now we will just check quickly and now we will check quickly whether the customer data is intact or not. Now we will go to themes, click themes and then come down go to desktop icons tick on computer click apply then ok now the my computer logo has come to the just go to sort click item type ok now the window the, the this pc has came on the top double click on that now you see the customer data in these two three drives are intact only the system has formatted C drive and the rest of the things are intact so guys this is how we repair the laptops if you like the video subscribe my channel and give a like to the video as well thanks for watching have a nice day